Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So we had a frost here um, a few days ago. And uh, so that's when you uh, end up actually harvesting things, right? So especially um, potatoes. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. And uh, these are sweet potatoes. And so you could see the damage that the frost did. I mean, we got our peppers up, anything, tomatoes, anything that would really get hit hard by a frost, we already took out. But we left this, and uh, and this is the sweet potato patch. We have both uh, the Japanese variety and the Stoke variety in here. But you can see the devastation, right? And this is after maybe two days after a frost. But at this point, uh, that's when you want to harvest. You want to try to let your sweet potatoes grow as long as possible. But when it gets to this state, you're going to have to harvest it. Now, if you had left it alone, um, if you had covered it, we might have been able to save it for another few weeks or so, but at this point, we just let the frost hit it because we were going to harvest it anyway. So now, uh, yeah, we're about to go and harvest it. So this is what it looks like afterwards. Um, and yeah, you can see some of the peppers and stuff in, in this pile that we didn't gather. And uh, <laughs> harvesting some of these sweet potatoes could be quite challenging. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing compared to the size of my hand. I actually had to take a shovel to this this one. Most of the times, you know, when the dirt isn't this hard, um, you can just use a uh, pitchfork or a, um, a hoe or something like that to take it out. But when these when these guys become this giant, well, yeah, use the right tool, right? <laughs> so sometimes you have to use a, uh, a shovel. So this is what it looks like. And this one is the uh, a Japanese variety. I know that because the skin inside is quite uh, quite uh, yellowish versus uh, purplish, right? The exterior looks very purple, but yeah, um, it almost looks like a big old radish, but it's actually a potato. So anyway, this is what you do after a frost. Uh, go ahead and harvest all your sweet potatoes out. Uh, whether it's the you know the American kind, the yams, or any of these um, native varieties like Stokes, or even the foreign varieties like the, this Japanese uh, uh, variety here. Alrighty, so that's for sweet potatoes. Shalom.